Hello my dear friend, welcome, my name is David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com In this video I'm going to talk about an important topic about software engineering and it is the cross-course algorithm So let's start Cross-course algorithm is a well-known greedy algorithm used to solve the minimum spanning tree MST problem in a connected, undirected graph. It was developed by Joseph Kraskal in 1956. The primary goal of this algorithm is to find a subset of edges that connects all vertices in the graph with the minimal total age weight ensuring no cycles are formed. Kraskal's algorithm is widely utilized in network design such as in building efficient wood, electrical and communication networks. Key concepts Minimum spanning tree MST, a subset of the graph's edges that connects all vertices together without any cycles and with the smallest possible total age weight. Greedy algorithm. A greedy algorithm makes a locally optimal choice at each step, hoping to eventually reach a globally optimal solution. Applications Crascal algorithms is uh, commonly used in various applications. Network design used in designing cost-effective communication, transportation and utility networks like computer networks, highways and power grids. Clustering in machine learning, Crascal's algorithm is used in hierarchical clustering to group data points based on similarity. Approximation algorithms It is used as a base for approximation algorithms in cases like solving NP-hard problems. How it works? Like any algorithm, Kraskow's algorithm executes instructions in a specific order. First, sort ages, uh, start by sorting all the ages of the graph in non-decreasing order based on their weights. Two, initialize the subset, uh, treat each vertex as an individual subset, a union find of this joint set data structure is often used to keep track of which vertices are in which subsets. 3. Add minimum age, select the smallest age in terms of weight, and check if it, it forms a cycle with the MST built so far. If it doesn't uh, form a cycle, add this age to the MST. 4. Repeat. Repeat the process of selecting ages until the MST spans all vertices or as v-1 ages, where v is the number of vertices. Pseudocode. Here you can read the pseudocode. So, Kraskal, uh, graph g, initialize MST as an empty set, sort all edges in g by their weights, for each age uv insert the age list, if u and v are in different subsets, add u, v to MST, union the subsets of u and v, return MST. Complexity analysis, time complexity. Sorting the edges, sorting the edges takes O of E times log E, where E is the number of edges. Union find operations, each union and find operation can be done in nearly constant time, specifically O of alpha E, where alpha is the inverse Ackermann function, in practical scenarios alpha V is extremely, extremely small, almost constant. Best case the time complexity, O of E times log E plus E times alpha O V, that is approximately O of E times log E. 
space uh, complexity, Kraskov's algorithm requires space to store the graph stages, the MST, and uh, the disjoint set data structure. This results uh, in a space complexity of O of E plus V, where E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices. The program uh, here is an implementation of Kraskal algorithm in C using the union find data structure to detect the cycles efficiently. So as you can read here you can find the structure of the age. You can do it by yourself. You need just to copy the code and paste on code blocks. So here you can uh, find a structure to represent a subset for union find. Then uh, here you can find a structure to represent a graph with uh, V vertices and E edges. Then uh, create a graph with V vertices and E edges. Find the parent of uh, an element I using path compression and a union of two subsets by rank. After this, uh, you have to compare two edges based on their weights for Q sort. And uh, the cross cards algorithm to find MST. So if uh, for uh, store the resultant MST, count of ages in MST, index for sorted ages, then sort all ages in a non-decreasing order of their weights, then create the subset with the single elements, and um, the best way for practice is uh, that you have to co uh, copy this code uh, inside a, a console application uh, created uh, using uh, an IDE like code blocks. And then you can experiment uh, the, this code, you can try, you can compile and build uh, this code, you can try by yourself. Uh, the program. So here you can find the main function. So it is int main. It is int because it returns an, an, uh, an integer that is zero, that is equivalent to exit success. So the code explanation we first define a structure for an age and subset for union find. The find function uses the path compression to quickly find the parent of a subset. The union function uses the rank to keep the tree flat and improve efficiency. We use QSort to sort the edges based on their weight. Finally, we select the edges and apply union find to check for cycles and build the MST. So, conclusion, the Kraskal algorithm is a simple yet powerful greedy algorithm used for solving the minimum spanning tree problem. Its efficiency and wide applications in network design make it a key algorithm in, a, in graph theory. The use of the union fund data structure optimizes the algorithm, allowing it to handle large graphs efficiently. The algorithm time complexity of O of E times log E makes it highly scalable for real world application. So you can find it in PDF uh, on my website uh, inside the section software engineering. You can download it, you can study it, you can print it, you can do what you want. So I want to remember that on my website you find a lot of materials about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry and also a lot of games coded in JavaScript. I love the game of chess, you can play chess against the CPU, so you can enjoy this fantastic game, you can chat uh, with me using my personal chat, uh, you must sign up uh, using your uh, email 
and then dear friend your donation is important help me update this website and join the community thank you for watching see you next time bye bye